Um, so now we're going to have Susie come on board. Um, Susie, if you're online. Hello. Okay, I'm going to spotlight you. Um, and Susie, I'm going to post your document that you sent me on the Facebook group so they can also see that. So I'm going to do that right now. Sure. Sounds good. But you go ahead. Okay. Uh, so hi, everyone. I'm just going to talk about myself a little bit. I hope it's not too boring. <laughs> and then. Um, I'll go over the videos that I'll be doing with you guys, um, in which I'll talk about in the later part of the section. So first, um, hi, magnificent ladies, pun intended. So it is a such pleasure and honor to be a guest speaker and serving this year's first ever virtual pageant for Miss Asian America and Miss Asian Global 2020. Yay. So I'm Susie Lee, and I was the very first Miss Asian Global 2012 to 2014. Um, I did a pageant when I was 19 years old during my sophomore year in college and I had such wonderful experiences and memories during the entire pageant experience. I'm very glad that I joined and even more grateful that I had such an honorable title because it has definitely helped me during my time in college, especially for the number of years of schooling that I had to get through in order to finish both undergraduate and graduate studies. So just a little bit about me. I graduated with a doctorate of pharmacy degree at Northeastern University in Boston. I got into pharmacy because my favorite uncle had his own community pharmacy and I regarded him as my role model and the pageant experience definitely helped me through my schooling in terms of being more relatable with my friends and social circle and definitely helping me feeling more comfortable with meeting people. Receiving the respective title of Miss Asian Global has provided so many benefits of developing my personal assets, of being confident. And I also learned how to become more beautiful inside and out. Um, I became more motivated to take care of myself, which I think is going to be showcased well for you guys with your health video. And I get a lot of remarks of how I can speak eloquently with charisma, and which I think really speaks to women empowerment and redefining the image of the modern woman, especially for Asian American women, because we still have a lot of improvement and opportunities to make real momentous change in the community and the environment that we are engrossed in. There's a lot of momentous potential that the Miss Asian Global community can help foster. And I truly do believe that you guys being the woman here today and the entire community connected here are the future of our society and you know wouldn't it be great to have more Asian representation especially with women being seen in the media whether it's through entertainment politics tech or any other career field after I graduated from college I came back to SF and I worked at Walgreens for about two years before completely switching career paths towards real estate so I think a lot of people ask why and how I made this change and a lot of people are actually quite surprised. And even when I went through years of continuous studies and getting my license as a pharmacist, practicing in California, for me, I was actually pretty decisive with my career change. As much as I love pharmacy and I love helping patients in the community setting, I did see my life expanding beyond the healthcare field. To me, coming from an Asian background and being a second generation college graduate, I had this mission in mind that I wanted to go against the status quo and I have this uncanny aspect about me for wanting to prove people wrong I guess and surprising myself with the challenges that I can overcome to become a better me every day. Not that being in the medical field is sticking to the Asian stereotype of being a doctor because a lot of Asian parents particularly say that that's like the most respectable title that you can basically get in like your separate life <laughs> but I knew that I wanted to expand outside of the study bubble and experience another flavor of life which is sales haha -ha. okay so I think <laughs> this 180 degree change has actually been one of my best decisions in my life being a realtor capitalized on the idea of having the title as Miss Asian Global 2012 to 2014 because real estate is all about building relationships and building rapport with people and having people relate to you by liking you and feeling comfortable with you so that they can do business with you. And I think Miss Asian Global really helped me develop myself as a successful career woman by helping me to expand my network and community of helpers that really support you in a lot of different ways. People will recognize your Miss Asian Global title or any honorary titles or just being linked to the Miss Asian Global Network because it provides you with the added validity of being a successful, smart, independent, and you know, beautiful woman. And it also provides you with the opportunity to give back to the community as well. 
I think it's amazing that a lot of people here today have been a part of the pageant in the past and have come back to help the next generation of leaders because we actually see the value that this wonderful organization is adding to the Asian community. And I know that everyone here will have an amazing experience with timeless memories to come that you won't be able to find anywhere else. And I can truly say that I wouldn't be the woman that I am today if it weren't for the valuable experiences that Ms. Asian Global has provided me. So thank you, Ms. Asian Global. And I'm really excited and truly honored to help root for you guys throughout this journey. And also just to kind of segue into the interview videos, I'll just be talking a little bit about how I will be volunteering my time this year and how you guys will play a role in making this year an unforgettable virtual pageant. So with many refinements undertaken by our diligent staff, um, I will be producing exclusive video spotlight interviews for all the delegates, including our current Miss Asian America, Melanie Wardana and Miss Asian Global, Stephanie Kim. These three to five minute short memoir videos will be a golden opportunity for you to feature something very exceptional and particularly notable about yourself that makes yourself different. So try thinking about it, like what makes you, you, right? So this will be a rare opportunity or like moment for us to reflect on ourselves to answer the question, why? And so we can delve into the core motivational reason as to why we have lived our lives the way we have and why we do what we do. The purpose of the memoir videos is to feature special spotlights for each interviewee. So all of us have stories to tell that provoke emotion and consequential action, whether they are motivational, gut-wrenching, horrifying, zealous, or happy. And these are all natural human emotions that drive us to take action and make decisions that develop us into the individuals that we are today. Sharing these life stories let others relate to you and brings the whole community closer together by providing us with the opportunity to confide in each other on a personal level. The subject matter of the interview is really up to you. It can also be about a passionate cause that you're actively involved in and you want to share with the public. And I'll have this information in writing, which I think Crystal kind of already did in the Facebook group, I guess. So it'll be outlined in the pageant guidebook as well. And you can also refer to the example questions that will be included in the template for inspiration. This will be a great time to showcase a single most defining characteristic about you that others might not know about. Um, not only will this leave a lasting impression for everyone else now and in the future, but it'll also provide a personable inside look that others might not be able to see behind the sparkling crowns, makeup, glamour of pageant life and things like that. And I think this is a time to show the world how you are uniquely you. So with that being said, I want to be respectful of the time. So that's why I kind of talked like lightning speed. <laughs> um, but I am grateful and excited to be a part of this Miss Asian America and Miss Asian Global pageant 2020 with you guys. I know that you will all reflect on this moment as one of the best and unique stages in life and you will have um, you know experienced a lot and then after I edit these videos we will feature them to the public so that others can see another valuable and personable side of you so essentially we will be having an interview together you guys don't do any of the editing work or anything so I will edit the videos and then we will kind of go from there thank you and please Feel free to contact me through social media or the phone if you have any questions. Again, um, thank you. I'm really honored to embark on this impeccable journey of Miss Asian America and global with you guys, especially for the virtual pageant of 2020 with you. And I'm really looking forward to working together with everyone to make this an unforgettable experience. So, thank you. <laughs>